There's way too many wrinkles in my balls. <laughs> and I want to get them smoothed out maybe with some Botox, so... <laughs> got myself some nice Maltesers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Been a pleasure to be here, because I've been on the road. I've been traveling. Just got back from Dubai. Whoa. Not bragging, just saying. <laughs> now, has anyone here been to Dubai before? You enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, anyone here not been to Dubai before? All right, now, if you've not been, I can describe Dubai to you best as I can. If you like indoor smoking, <laughs> ostentatious displays of wealth, big old brunches and buffets, oh, you'll love Dubai. <laughs> now, if you are a woman, an outspoken and proud feminist who has control over their own sexuality, and you can locate your own clitoris, <laughs> Don't go to Dubai. That's, <laughs> that's not the place for you guys. Basically, Dubai is what would happen if you gave a 12-year-old a trillion dollars and said, make your own city. <laughs> they got, like, Lamborghinis as, like, sports cars. If you go to a nightclub, you can't talk to girls. There's a gun in the toilet that sprays your bum. It's perfect if you're 12. <laughs> now, I'm far from 12, but I love those bum guns they got in Dubai. <laughs> They spray your bum clean, and those Arab toilets are amazing. Not like British toilets. You know what it's like when you go into a British toilet and you look around the cubicle and you think to yourself, do bums even point this way? <laughs> anyway, I was doing some shows in Dubai because I got rent to pay. And uh, <laughs> it was fun, but got in a little bit of trouble because of some of the comments I made while I was in Dubai. Nothing too offensive. I was just talking about cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery is a very big thing in Dubai. And I was just trying to work out how much is too much Botox. <laughs> now, before I continue, I want you guys to know if anybody in this room has had cosmetic surgery like Botox or is considering cosmetic surgery, that is entirely your prerogative. Long as you're happy, my job is to observe, never to judge. <laughs> I was just trying to work out how much is too much. And I think I may have worked it out. <laughs> if I make a joke about Botox and you don't like it, but I can't tell... <laughs> That's too much Botox, I think. Because <laughs> after my set, a lady came up to me and she was like, I didn't care for your comments about Botox, mate. And I was like, well, your face tells a different story. <laughs> so I'm gonna lay low for a while. But I've been traveling a lot recently. I've been enjoying it. Um, now, before I continue, I should say, I definitely am not making fun of anyone that has considered cosmetic surgery because I've done that myself. I thought about getting my hair done maybe working these abs, getting myself a little six pack. And I'll be honest, I'm at an age now where there's way too many wrinkles in my balls. <laughs> and I wanna get them smoothed out maybe with some Botox. So, <laughs> got myself some nice Maltesers. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one men in the room, but that's the thing. The thing with men is that like, you know, we never really get the news from our friends that we're getting old. Normally with men, you don't realize you're too old for certain things until you get that email from HR. <laughs> where it's no longer a compliment, now it's harassment. <laughs> now I very recently received my wake up call that I was getting old, cause I was in Australia. I was in a tour of Australia, and before I went out there, a lot of my friends were worried about me. They were like, Dane, be careful in Australia, a lot of racism there. Police don't necessarily like black people, and they got boomerangs, and those come back. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sure that's not true. But when I got there, I'll be honest, I definitely felt like a Cocoa Pop in a bowl of Rice Krispies. <laughs> the social milk is not that chocolatey, shall we say. <laughs> anyway, I'm in a pub, because it's Australia and there's nothing else to do. <laughs> and we're in a karaoke bar, and I'm the only person there without a mullet. 
So I stand out for two reasons. <laughs> We're chilling in this bar. A guy comes up to me and he goes, hi, mate, are you from the UK? And I was like, yeah. So he goes, come over here. I want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm from South London. I'm not scared of confrontation. But people in Australia are not scared of confrontation either. Because <laughs> it can go left where I go South London. I go, hey, you better fuck with me. I got a knife. Because in Australia, they'll go, that's not a knife. <laughs> and if you get that reference, you're old too. <laughs> anyway, he points over to a corner and he goes, you see that lady over there? That's my mum. And she's interested. <laughs> that's a real shift in life. <laughs> where you go from, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. So, hey, mate, you want to my mom? <laughs> now, I know some of you are wondering, and by some of you, I mean the men in the room. No, I didn't have sex with this woman. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but when you send your children out for penis, that's a turn off for me. <laughs> anyway, if you have any problems with that set, I'll just get into contact with your mom and start a very profound relationship. <laughs> so, uh, that's been my time. My name has been Dane Baptiste. You guys have been great. Thank you, Comedy Central. Good night, everyone.